Hi everyone, this is Professor Benjamin, and today I'm going to show you how to use the COUNTIF formula uh, or function in Excel. We are in our count copy of the counted um, Excel spreadsheet, and over here is where the data is. Uh, as you can see here, here's the info um, on the data. So this is always usually included with a data set. It just gives you some background information on the data. And I've added my calculation sheet. If you are not sure of how I've added this calculation sheet, make sure you go back to the PowerPoint um, Technology and Criminal Justice dash database, and you'll find how I created this calculation sheet um, named it calculations and then added in the information that I wanted. So again, if you are not sure how I got to this step, um, make sure you go back and look at that PowerPoint. I made screenshots to show you how I created this um, this sheet within my copy of the counted Excel file. Okay, so the overall thing is the file and then within the file we have sheets. So it's like a folder, um, a file folder and then within the file, well it's actually a file cabinet and then within the file cabinet we have folders. Um, and so each one of these sheets are those folders. So um, right now I'm on the calculations sheet and as you can see here I have I'm trying to find out the number of white individuals, black individuals, Hispanic, Latino, Asian Pacific, Native American that were killed. Um, we are then going to, of course, take that number and divide it by the total to find the percentage that was killed. So what I want to do is I want to start and I want to make sure I'm, I have clicked within the box here that I'm looking for. So notice I'm not in any other box because I want to find out how many white individuals were killed. So I click within the box. That's the first thing I am on the calculation sheet. And then I click within the box. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click right up here. Um, actually, if you're here on the home page, you want to click on formulas. So you go up to the top of your sheet um, and you click on formulas. I'm going to go up here. So you're going to click on formulas. So I'm within here. I click on formulas and then I hit insert function. I'm going to insert function. And if it has not showed up on your list here, which a lot of you it will not, you type in here COUNTIF. So COUNTIF is what you do where you can click here and say all, all functions. And it will, you can scroll down to COUNTIF because they're in alphabetical order. If not, you can type in here and you can say COUNTIF. So C-O-U-N-T-I-F. And the reason that I'm saying COUNTIF See, count if shows up. Um, the reason that I say count if is because we're counting if something. So we're counting if. Um, so we're counting if it is, says white. We're counting if it says black. So that's why it says count if um, because it's telling you that. So we're going to say OK. And then what's going to come up is this little box here that says, well, what's the range and what's the criteria? The range is the is the range of cells from which you want to count non-blank cells. Okay, so it can't be a blank cell. So as I click back here, if you notice, here I am. You always want to make sure you're at the top of your Excel sheet. So you always want to make sure you're way at the top where the columns um, say, you know, the rows say two, three, four. Make sure you're right at the top. And I'm going to say that I want this range to be the E's because this is the race and ethnicity. Notice I clicked at the top where it says E. I did not click within here. I clicked at the top. So I clicked the actual column and I said I want E. Okay. And notice in here in the range it popped up as E. All right. The next thing I want to say is the criteria. So the criteria is going to be white. So I'm going to click here and notice it takes me right back to the Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to type in white. I need to type it in exactly how it is in the sheet. Um, sometimes if we um, don't use capitalization or maybe there's a space there that we don't see, you may get return zero. And if that happens, you need to go back and make sure you look exactly how it is typed within the Excel sheet that you're using. So here I type white and I say OK and pops in 303 white. OK, so let's walk through this again for 
black. So I click in black, the race black. I click in the box. So notice I click in the box. I then say insert function. I'm going to click on count if. Now it should show up here under your most, in, most recently used because you just used it, right? So I can click on count if and then I say OK. And then my range box shows back up again. I then go back to my main sheet. So uh, some of you can't see that, but um, whoops, I need to drag this box down. I'm going to, I got to go back because I, I messed that up. So I'm going to click on here on black. I'm going to insert my function. I'm going to say count if correct. I'm going to say, okay. I am now going to go back to my main data sheet. As you can see, I just click back here. I'm going to tell it that I want E to count. And then I want to say black because that's the race that I am looking for. I say black and up pops 156. Okay, the next thing I want to do is Hispanic and Latino. So this can get a little crazy here because you see how it says Hispanic slash Latino. You want to make sure it's spelled properly in Latino. That doesn't always mean that the individual who typed these in type properly. They could have a spelling error. So here's a trick of the trade. Before I even go back over here and do my count if, I can go here and I can actually come up to the top here and I go like this and I drag my mouse and I hit control C at the same time or I can hit paint copy okay so I could say right click copy okay so this is a trick of the trade you can then go back to the calculations and I do my normal thing so I go here and I'm gonna say function I go here to count if so I click okay count if my range, I need to go back to my spreadsheet again, is E. And then I get into my criteria box and I can, I can hit control V. And it, see, it says Hispanic Latino. That's what I copied from the Excel spreadsheet first. And then I say, okay. And I have a hundred individuals. Okay. Let's do, we'll do the next one. Okay. So Asian Island, um, Asian Pacific Islander. So this is another one where we could get mixed up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet again, and I'm going to scroll down till I find one. Oh, uh, oh, here's one. So I click on this cell. I come up here. I control C or I copy it. And then I go back to my calculations tab. I click on the box. So click on the box, go up to function. I go to count if. Okay. I go back to my Excel sheet. I click on E and then I put it in. Okay. And then I say, okay. And there's only 10. Okay. So I walked you through. I want you to try the next three by yourself and get your total numbers there. Okay, so try your next three by yourself and get your total numbers of Native American, unknown, and Arab American. Okay, so try. Try the next three on your own. And then what I'll do is I'll fill in those numbers for you, but you need to make sure you've done it because I need to see the calculations in there. If you submit your spreadsheet to me and you've just copied these numbers and you actually haven't done the count if, I can see that because I can see what formulas you use to create your numbers. So the next three I'm going to put on your own. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to find the total and the percentage. So you're going to do Native American, Unknown, and Arab. Remember, you start on the calculations page. You hit, you have to click on the cell next to the, to the word that you want to submit. And then you hit the function. Then you do your count if. You need to go back to the main page again. All right, so remember the stages. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.